Electrical gadgets and tools have been a part and parcel of everyone's life now. We cannot imagine a life without gadgets. Be it phones, laptops, printers, scanners, computers and the list goes on. Every day a new gadget gets added to the list or the older one gets modified. One such electrical gadget that has taken the world by storm is nothing but mobile phones. Mobile phones during the early days of the evolution were intended for talking while the person was on move. Later, texting option was also added to the mobile phones. Nowadays, mobile phones are equipped with features, facilities as such this can be used to perform unlimited number of tasks. Our smartphones becomes our hub for entertainment, documenting, payments, contact tracing and more making them even more indispensable for our lives. Some of the stats about the uses of mobile phones are extremely surprising and these are there are 5.27 billion unique mobile phone users in the world today. The average mobile phone users check their phone up to 63 times daily. Mobile users are currently growing at a rate of 2.3% per year. The number of mobile subscription associated with smartphone has reached 6.4 billion. The average person touches their phone is 2,617 times per day on an average. Average screen time for Americans is 5.4 hours per day, whereas the world figure is about 3 hours and 15 minutes. From simple to smart, mobile phones have transferred dramatically to become information and communication hubs fundamental to modern life. You might be surprised to know that the first ever sold mobile phone was must and more costlier than the latest iPhones. The first mobile had a price tag of $4,000, whereas the cost of latest iPhone is around $1,700. But how did they get to be this advanced? To this, scroll to the timeline to see how and when phone technology evolved. The smartphones we pose today have come a long way from the first renation of the telephone back in 1876, when Alexander Graham Bell invented and patented the first short-range phone. But like people's phone have evolved throughout history to cater our lifestyles and needs. Our flashback begins with the world's first telephone. The liquid transmitter. Two inventors, Alexander Graham Bell and Alicia Gray, both independently designed devices that could transmit speech electronically. By early 1877, the first official telephone lines were established as a part of Bell Telephone Company, and the first regular telephone line was constructed. The year is 1876. Two men are working on developing what would become the world's first telephone. Both are headed to the patent office, racing against the clock to be the first to register their invention. Alicia Gray is a few hours too late. Alexander Graham Bell has already submitted his liquid transmitter and thus begins the story of the telephone. The very first mobile phones were not really mobile phones at all. There were two-way radios that allowed people like taxi drivers and the emergency services to communicate. Since the 1800s, the telephone has gone through hundreds of changes. Some are minute, others are complete upheavals. No matter what from the phone takes, however, it still completely revolutionized our society communicates and interact with each other and continues to impact culture to this day. Due to the vast history of the phone, only a few major highlights will be covered here. For starters, the first phone with the ability to dial a number was invented in 1905. Alman B. Strauger is credited with the creating the first rotary phone, elementing the needs of switchboards and operators. Despite this, they didn't catch on until the 1920s. The Frankfurt Bahuas is considered the first mainstream rotary phone. The history of mobile phones goes back to 1908 when a US patent was issued in Kentucky for a wireless telephone. Mobile phones were invented as early as 1940s when engineers working at AT&T developed cells for mobile phone base stations. Motorola on 3rd April 1973 were first company to mass produce the first handled model 
Dynatech mobile phone. However, the first ever mobile phone call was made 10 years before the launch of this model when a senior engineer of Motorola named Martin Rue Cooper called to a rival telecommunication company and informed them that he is calling from a handheld mobile phone. Jumping a few decades ahead, advancements like touchstone dialing and cordless phones are growing more commonplace in the 1970s. Around that time, AT&T began experimenting with a telephone that could transmit images during a call. It was deemed too bulky and expensive but laid the groundwork for what would eventually become video calls and text messages. The 80s were a major turning point in the evolution of phones. Caller ID was being implemented, VOIP services were going into testing. And the biggest of all, the first mobile phones were in development. Well, mobile in the sense that they could be brought with people and had a large range than traditional cordless phones. They were still bulky and clunky, a far cry from the sleek models that rule today's markets. The release of the Motorola Microtech 9800X in the 1989 was the first modern cell phone with its slim case and flip design. Cell phones would grow to be more mainstream and accessible throughout the 90s but wouldn't reach the popularity they enjoy today until the new millennium. Still, the first smartphone was being developed long before the term when even existed. The IBM Simon was a revolutionary device that combined a telephone with PDA elements, making it a precursor to devices like Blackberry and iPhone. In the past two decades, the advancements made to phones have been massive and rapid. It's amazing to think that when an iPhone was first introduced in 2007, it was unprecedented. Now, even phones with full keyboards are considered dated. Skype was integrated into both smartphones and computers, giving people even more communication options. New operating systems were being developed, each more sophisticated than the last. Built-in phone cameras also improved, capable of capturing pristine pictures and later videos. It wasn't long before books, movies and even games could be enjoyed from a phone, making them all in one entertainment devices. Assistants like Siri and Cortana gave phones more accessibility and to some at least a personality. The future of the telephone is bright. Almost every person on the planet owns at least one even if they aren't strictly of the latest model. Resources will continue to be poured into developing new software and hardware are improving existing technology. These early mobile phones are often referred to as OG mobile phones and or zero generation mobile phones. Most phones today really on 3G and 4G technology. Now, let's take a walk through the timeline. 1983 to 1990, the first ever portable mobile phone. In 1983, the world got the first ever portable mobile phone in the shape of Motorola Dynatac 8000X. It cost an eye-watering 4000 USD and was a huge status symbol at that time. Two years later, the first mobile phone call on UK soil was made. Then the Vodafone chairman, Sir Ernest Harrison, the lucky recipient. In 1989, Motorola followed up the Dynatac with the 9800X or Microtech. It came with the fold-down keyboard cover and set the standard for the flip phone form factor seen throughout the 90s. 1991 to 1994 Dawn of Consumer Handsets GSM first launched in Europe 1991 with the Orbital TPU 900, first to market. But it wasn't until 1992 that mobiles were no longer restricted to business use. Mass production paved the way for cost-effective consumer handsets with digital display. Nokia was one of the first to take advantage of this transition, with the Nokia 1011 arriving that year. 1995 to 1998, a splash of color. Although it only offered four colors, the Simons S10 brought mobile phone displays to life for the first time in 1997. The same year, Hagnack launched the Global Handy, the first device without an external area. Customization also kicked off in a big way with the Ericsson offered swappable colored front keyboard panels. 
The following year, Nokia launched a range of Express on interchangeable covers on the 5100 series, making it the first fashion oriented phone. In 1999 to 2002, the growth of feature phone. 1999 saw Nokia unveil the 7110, which was the first device to take advantage of WAP. A year later, Sharp launched the world's very first camera phone, the JSH04. It was only available in Japan but signaled in the state of the public's obsession with phone photography. However, it wasn't until 2002 and the release of Sony Ericsson T68i and its clip-on camera that Western markets started to take an interest in the camera phone. In the 20s, technology throughout the decade advanced exponentially. Mobile phones become more compact, offered higher resolution screens and had more features than ever made. 2003 to 2006 Mobile Data Revolution The implementation of 3G tool download speeds up to 2 MBS in the March 2003, with 3 the first to offer the service in the UK. RIM brought mobile email to the masses with its range of popular BlackBerry devices like the 8100 Pearl. The advent of front-facing cameras in 2003 on devices such as the Sony Ericsson Z1010 meant video calling became possible but not popular. 2007 to 2010 Getting smarter Swiping and scrolling replaced the traditional button method of the input. The LG Prada became the first touchscreen to market ahead of the Apple iPhone in May 2007. However, Apple proved to have both the stronger brand and superior knowledge of capacitive touchscreen's potential. 2011 to 2014 Life Companion Smartphones become increasingly central to modern life, offering much more than just communication features. The UK's first 4G service launched in 11 cities by EE in 2012, taking download speed up to 12 Mbps. Voice recognition became commonplace first with Google Voice before Apple launched Siri into the market. Samsung added a built-in heart rate monitor to their flagship Galaxy S5 to capitalize on growth in mobile health and fitness. 2015-2018 to 2018, Size Matters The global adoption of 4G fastly improves video streaming and video calling capabilities. Screen sizes continue to grow to maximize the experience of these features. With the iPhone 7 Plus display now 47% larger than the original iPhone from 2007. Mobile payments also emerge with Apple Pay and Android Pay offering users the possibility of buying things with their smartphone. Present day the super fast world. EE launches the UK's first 5G service in 6 cities throughout May 2019. The first generation network promises vastly superior data speeds and reliability, boosting ultra high resolution video streaming and mobile gaming. Handset design trends continue to push up for all screen experiences, with OnePlus introducing the pop up selfie camera to its flagship 7 Pro device to do away with the notch altogether. Now some glimpses along the centuries. 2007 June 2007 saw the launch of the first generation of iPhone. Unveiled by the Steve Jobs, it features an auto-rotate sensor and capacitive screen that allowed multiple inputs while ignoring the minor state touches. Needless to say, it was an instant success. 2008, the first Android phone was released called G1. It was a limited touchscreen and a slide-out keyboard. Elsewhere, Microsoft decides to bin Windows Mobile, citing that it cannot compete with iOS or Android. It begins work on a brand new OS, Windows Phone. Apple also launches the App Store with 552 apps available to download. 2009 WhatsApp launches its co-founder Jan Comcom make up with the idea for the messaging app during a movie night at a friend's place. In Sweden and Norway, Telia Sonera became the first operator to offer customers 4G services. 
in practical terms, 4G boasts data transfer speeds like five times what can achieved over 3G networks. 2010, Apple launched the iPhone 4, but antenna problems plugged it. Google finally released a branded smartphone, the Nexus One. 2011, Samsung cements their place as the biggest global smartphone vendor thanks to the Galaxy S2 which packs an 8 megapixel camera and an AMOLED display. 2012 Five years after the first iPhone hit the shelves, the fifth generation model lands in September. The iPhone 5 sold 5 million units in its first weekend. 2013 Fingerprint scanning went mainstream when it launched on the iPhone 5S via the touch button. 2014, 3G coverage is now available in 99% of the UK population. Elsewhere, Facebook acquires WhatsApp for $19 billion. 2015, Chinese firms Huawei and Xiaomi makes strides in Western markets. But both Samsung and Apple continues to dominate with the Galaxy S5 and iPhone 6S respectively holding 38% of the global market share between them. 4G data traffic surpassed 3G for the first time. Although 4G represents only 14% of the mobile connection 2015, it already accounts for 47% of mobile data traffic. 2016 Google ditch their Nexus branding and replace it with the Pixel, releasing two new high-end smartphones, the Pixel and Pixel XL. Both are hoped to compete directly with Apple's i7 and i7 Plus. 2017 Microsoft ends support for the Windows Phone OS, just seven years after its response to Android and iOS. Screen design dominance continues to rise with Samsung Galaxy S8 and iPhone X adopting over 82% screen-to-body ratios. The focus on screen real estate sees the rise of notch trend. The Sharp Acres S2, an essential phone first to spot the features before the iPhone X gave it to true prominences. SMS messaging celebrates its 25th anniversary after struggling to gain widespread adoption due to poor coverage. The service now transmits 22 billion messages daily. Now, moving towards 2018, the Chinese manufacturer Yellow Phone launches the Power 5 incorporating a 13,000 mAh battery. The largest ever seen in a mobile phone over four times greater than Apple's flagship, the iPhone XS Max, released in the same year. 2019, the year 2019, a what a year it was for smartphones. The industry was hyper-competitive, driving innovation at a breakneck pace while dramatically influencing the price-to-value ratio. Some highly anticipated concepts like foldable phones finally became a reality to mix its reception. While the designs and capabilities of a regular smartphones were also advanced by leaps and bounds. We went from 48 megapixel cameras to 108 megapixel shooters on a phone, all in a single year. But at the same time, consumers become more conscious about the software experiences, regular updates, security patches, accessibility and other such aspects. To be fair, 2019 ushered in a turn of new trends and turned nascent ideas into mainstream stuff, which make it difficult to select any one out of them. The UK and US begin to deploy 5G networks. Initial indication point to real-world data transfer speeds 10 times faster than 4G. 2020 The new smartphones with latest features were waiting in the wings. With the pace of smartphone evolution driven by furious competition in the market, we saw various innovative devices coming out in 2020 that offer something different from the best phones of 2019. From ever-shrinking bezels to foldable devices, the smartphone industry saw a promising and revolutionary 2020. A new era of foldable phones were launched for the expectant users with feature of full smartphone with a 6.7 inch OLED display that folds and shrinks into much smaller square when it's closed. 5G technology gets mature and 5G infrastructure and networks are more reliable. People can begin to truly enjoy the real 5G era. Almost all the new phones that we unveiled at MWC 2020, Barcelona supported 5G.
Apple also ruled out their 5G iPhone 12 in 2020. To keep the momentum going, we are now in the present year that is 2021. Smartphone manufacturers delve deeper into the space and look at ways on how to improve the journey can be better for a consumer. From better products to more effective communications. The year 2021 is an age wherein the customer demands have a wider challenge for the smartphone makers. The most important ones are compact phones. Thin and light phones are what we might have to make do with. Curved displays continue to be a debated topic in the world of smartphones. On one hand, they offer a far more premium feel along with a better viewing experience and a higher screen to body ratio, providing a bigger display in a smaller body. On the other hand, they are more susceptible to damage, take up more internal space and can be held back by poor palm rejection. Some of these cons are being addressed by brands but the progress seems rather stagnant. Foldable smartphones are a very exciting category that is still very nascent. Till now, it has been one horse race in the form of whatever Samsung has offered. If foldables are indeed the future, we think that brands are wasting precious time in perfecting their craft while the market is young. For 2021, we hope that the momentum continues and 90 and 120Hz screen get democratized by budget smartphones. Every company has seemingly opted for a different approach with its fast charging implementation. Some have gone with higher voltage, some increased the current while others used multiple inflow points. We would like to see brands work on this and add support for at least one common standard such as UDBPD or Qualcomm Quick Charge. So users can truly leave behind the worries of not carrying a charger. With Android OEMS looking to exclude chargers from the packaging, fast charging might just become a luxury once again. AI for photography gets a bit of a bad reputation from those who don't really understand it. But if there is one feature that will continue taking smartphone imaging to new heights, even beyond the hardware limitations, it's computational photography. By the end of 2020, nearly every phone across every segment offered some level of intelligence to help users get better images. Be in the form of night mode or portraits or something a lot more complex such as daytime light painting or sky replacement, increasing the odds of getting a great shot. Since hardware can be difficult to optimize and expensive to upgrade, we hope more companies adopt a software driven photography approach. Fragmentation has always held Android phones back from getting timely updates. But this year was different. We also saw brands fix their skins by reducing the amount of blot, making the interface simpler while retaining customizability overall. We saw things move in the right direction. Slowing down the specs race due to the inherent nature of Android. Brands invariably chase crazier specs each year to try and win hearts as well as wallets. The Pixel 4a can offer a better experience than the Note 20 Ultra at times. Remember when all phones had a gradient blue back? Thankfully those days are behind us. While most phones did have a somewhat similar design with a bunch of cameras in a rectangular housing along the corner. Brands also tried to create unique design languages that exhibit cohesion. With the basis form set, we would like to see brands be a little more adventurous with their designs, be it via colors, materials, finish, shape or something that hasn't been done yet. For a device that we interact with for hours each day, an unpleasant form factor can amount to a bad user experience. So here comes the last but not the least, there are some more about phones. VoIP technology expanded into businesses and applications. And text, voice, video software such as Skype allowed people to connect in even more ways. With innovative device features such as the iPhone 4 Siri and Apple iOS 6 Maps and Passport. We are relying on our cell phones for more and more each day. And fewer people use a landline phone from their homes now. We can now use our cell phones to book plane tickets, find direction to business or residence, shop for shoes, 
see what's new on Facebook, share photos with the world, check your favorite team score, play interactive games with friends, find out tomorrow's weather report and much 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 more. This is how mobile phones are evolved from 18th century to now and will evolve more and more in the future. And we all know we can't see the future. So with this, here comes the end of this video. Hope you all guys will love this video and found it very interesting and informative. 2. Constant Internet Access It doesn't take much of an imagination to come up with tons of advantages of having the internet at your fingertips anytime you need it. Want to find all the local movie times? No problem. Need to look up the number of the restaurant you were supposed to make reservation at? Just pull out your phone. Smartphones have also been effectively solving friendly argument about random trivia of years. Learn to take advantages of everyone's constant connection to the internet with this amazing course on mobile marketing. So here are some of the advantages of the new generation smartphones and these are like 1. Communicating with friends, family and co-workers. This one is pretty obvious but bear with us. Since the first cell phone we have been able to make calls while on the go. But given the fact that almost everyone today owns at least a basic mobile phone and the majority have their phone on hand at all the times, you are able to get in touch with people nearly 24 into 7. Add to this cell phone towers constantly popping up to give us ever improving reception and even being in a building or outside of the city isn't the problem it used to be. This comes in handy in so many ways like let your boss know about last changes to an important business deal. Keep taps to your kids, hate a friend for a hangout or even call for help in emergency. All these things are more and easier than ever. 3. Applications and the all-in-one device It's tough to fit an mp3 player, digital camera, phone and GPS all in your pocket at the same time, at least comfortably. Fortunately for us, today's cell phone means that it's not a problem anymore. It's been our go-to calculator and flashlight for the at least past decade and a smartphone is probably the only camera many people even own. To learn to create professional quality shots with your phone's camera, give this awesome course a try. If that we aren't enough, there are apps for practically everything. Now your phone is also an ebook reader, currency converter and handheld gaming device. There are even apps that helps you learn foreign languages on the go. Check out this helpful course that tells you all about the best apps for the productivity and studying. In any field where we talk about advantages, then it's totally obvious that there must be some disadvantages also take their stance. And in this case of mobile phone, it is very common to have some number of problems and disadvantages. And these are like 1. Hinder real human interaction Our phones can do so much these days that some people have been trouble cheering themselves away long enough to reconnect with the real world. You have likely been seen them around town, on public transportation and in stores with their eyes and fingers glued in their mobile devices. Instead of interacting with the people around them, they ignore face-to-face -face conversation for the virtual ones. Many believe that the younger generation is actually less capable of normal socializing because of this. They have gotten so little practice that they are simply not comfortable with chatting with someone they meet out in public. Since humans are social creatures by nature who need real-life connection, this runs the risk of becoming a huge problem of society. So don't forget to like the video and subscribe the channel if you haven't done yet. And do hit the bell icon for the upcoming videos. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.